One may wonder why so many businesses fail. Businesses fail because of the lack of experience of the business owners. The lack of business experience is maybe related to the fact that they may be young and they are adventurous and, and uh, very energetic, but maybe making mistakes. Uh, old people have more maturity, but they may be making mistakes too because they may have overconfidence. So there are a lot of activities and there may be a lack of understanding of the number of these activities and what these activities are on the order of the activities. Another big issue is they focus too much on the ideas. They're not trying to solve a problem. They're in love with the product and they don't focus on so much the solution. You want to be a problem solver and you want to be very clear about what is the problem. But very commonly, I see the problem of not understanding who are the customers. What is your target? Who are your targets? Another issue is uh, thinking about the company before thinking of the target. And this is called segmentation, targeting, and positioning. And that's the proper order is dividing the consumers, uh, uh, selecting the consumer that you want to focus on. So dividing is, is segmentation, uh, selecting the consumer is targeting. And eventually, you come up with an image, a meaning of your brand for this specific target, and that's the positioning. They may be very unclear about what is their positioning. And oftentimes the businesses, most businesses start by saying, here's what I want to be. Oh, is there anyone that care for who I am? And that's another reason why they don't succeed so well. My perspective is to be realistic. Most businesses think about who they are before they think about their customers. So my perspective is you should be defining who you are, measure, uh, evaluate, assess your market and the segments, then select your target, and then again, look at who you think you are and who you want to be, and then adjust it to the target that you want to focus on. So the traditional STP, uh, which is most commonly uh, PST, because that's what everyone does, most not knowing what is STP, should actually be PSTP. That's more realistic, and that's the way entrepreneurs should be looking at it. They don't care for uh, writing plans. They don't have the time for writing plans. They don't know what strengths, weaknesses, opportunity, and threats. They don't do any research. They just try to uh, work and wing things as they come uh, their way. Another thing is understanding that you are in business because you're satisfying someone's need. That is very important. You are working on de delivering value and um, adjusting people's perceptions and understanding that they have perception of what you sell and perception of what other competitors sell. So this issue of parity, having what people have, having what other competitors have uh, that is important for consumers is very important. So understand your competitor's advantage and try to borrow some of their advantage to your own advantage. But at the same time, you can't, you should not try to be exactly what your competitors are. You should try to differentiate yourself. So this is called the JNZ, the just noticeable difference. If you're too different, that could be dangerous. If you're not different enough, you're nothing special. So what's different about your business? What's different about my business? It's my JNZ. Let me tell you about my JNZ. My JNZ is X, Y, and Z, and that also defines what is our positioning. So positioning is important, extremely important. It's probably the most difficult thing in marketing. And you don't want to have too many attributes of positioning. The more attributes you have, the more you'll be confusing and the less they will remember. What's the perfect number? I would say it's two. One is the minimum, three is the maximum, two is, is the ideal number. Obviously in business, you need to understand that you can't be successful all the time. There's different times and you need to pick your time. You need to also to worry about the uh, budget and try to be as close, uh, as precise as possible to budget and to make the best forecast of the sales in order to anticipate how much money you're going to have. So not knowing about the money you're going to need and, and when you're going to need the money is a big issue that explains oftentimes why business fits fail. Being tactical and thinking about ideas all the time is great, but it doesn't make you a very good leader and if you don't have this broad picture. A good leader has a broad picture, a narrow picture, and he finds or she finds the people in order to execute all of this. So being strategical is very important. Being overly too tactical is another uh, reason why businesses fail. And with this comes the concept of, of this leadership again, which is the vision where, what do you see uh, changing? What do you see your business being part of? And what's your mission is what, you're, um, what you mean, what you're trying to change. So 
uh, not understanding the vision and mission, not having one is a big issue that oftentimes also explains why people, uh, businesses fail. So when you have a business, you need to constantly innovate, but innovating too often is also very expensive and um, is, is resourceful. And therefore you not allocating your resources where you should be uh, is also explaining why businesses fail. So embracing the concept of developing new products is very important, but all of this takes a lot of stamina and people are oftentimes very short-term oriented. And so they need to see that this is a long run. It's a marathon of being uh, the owner of a business. So you can't do it by yourself, but you have to do it by having the right partners and hiring people that are gonna help you. And so as your business it has to upscale and uh, scale up and uh, become a, a larger business, Hiring becomes very important, and, and sometimes the leaders end up spending a lot of time just doing that. Another thing that you think comes later when you become a, a bigger company, but should come uh, the minute you start your business, is understanding that there are legal issues, and legal issues concerning contracts, um, contracts with your suppliers, contracts with the employees, contracts with the partners, but also finding the right business uh, entity is very important based on the the liability that you want to protect and the type of um, profits and losses that you want to uh, organize with your taxes. Pricing is the big issue that doesn't cost anything to organize pricing, but it can cost you a lot. Being too expensive, you're not going to sell. Uh, it's great to try to be as high in the price as possible, but you have the resources to create the, the reputation and the image that will sustain you having a high price. Then having a low price makes you competitive, but the problem is people oftentimes are worried about low, lower price products and they will think that therefore they are not as good. And in addition, it doesn't generate as much uh, margin and profit and therefore you have a, a lack of resources in order to keep innovating and being a leader. You cannot communicate to everyone, you really have to concentrate on your target. So a lot of uh, businesses spend a lot of money communicating and it's is they think that they can communicate to everyone when in fact the amount of the budget of their communication is so is not uh, connected to the uh, to the size of who, who they should be communicating. So it's very important to understand who is the target and what's the best way to get to them. Overspending, it's very obvious, but a lot of businesses overspend, and that's the reason why they fail. Uh, they listen to too many people and the wrong people. Uh, when you're a business owner, you need to have this vision and mission, you need to have your objectives, you need to have these ideas on your strategy. So you need to have some level of confidence, which you be supported by your research, not just your um, uh, instinct. And then you have to listen to the right people, not the wrong people. And there's a very few people that are right. And so uh, most people uh, spend too much time procrastinating because they are listening to everyone and they are not sure when they should start, what they should do, and they stutter. And that's a big problem. And they may be launching and then listening to people. And that's another reason they miss the opportunity because they've listened to the wrong people. The underestimation of sales seems uh, very obvious, but most, there is many businesses that are created by people that could be engineers with an engineering bias or accountants. And they see the salespeople as being too expensive. They say, hey, we have the best product. The product should sell itself. Now, the best salespeople makes the best companies because they companies is about selling. The more you sell, the more you succeed. Um, doing research is a luxury. Oftentimes they don't do enough research and they just think that they're gonna get lucky and research allows you to get lucky. They are overconfidence and uh, that makes them fail. And also they don't understand that what they want to say to the customer may not be what the customer wants to hear. So you have to understand what do they want to hear? How do they want to hear it? What, are, what, has, what is their um, communication, favorite communication methods? And what is their favorite words, the keywords that they want to hear, the perceptions that you need to um, encode, uh, create, and therefore when they see, uh, they answer to your message much better because they have decoded what you are trying to say. So encoding and decoding and advertising and communication in general is very important.